Hey guys, welcome to the Wedding Reporter Podcast. Today we have John Schneider and Dee Dee Sorvino with us, and they just got married, so we have a wedding report. And you may have heard of them before, but I'm going to go ahead and read their amazing bios right here at the top of this. So John's extensive acting career includes the iconic roles of Bo Duke on the Dukes of Hazard, Jonathan Kent on Smallville, and Jim Cryer on Tyler Perry's The Haves and the Have Nots, along with recurring appearances on Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, Nip Tuck, Dancing with the Stars, and most recently, The Masked Singer. As an independent filmmaker, John continues to Don't write, it. direct, and star in his own movies, including Christmas Cars, Stand On It, Poker Run, and To Die For. In addition to his incredible acting career, John has over 20 albums to his credit and five number one singles on the Billboard Country Chart. And it's also worth noting that John co-founded with Marie Osmond the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, which has raised more than $8.5 billion for 170 children's hospitals throughout the United States. And we also have Dee Dee Sorvino, and she is an Emmy Award-winning television radio personality who has appeared on numerous national and international radio and television programs, including Comedy Central, Fox News Channel, Fox Business Channel, BBC, CBS Morning Show, and The Talk. And Dee Dee has won an Emmy as host <laughs> and international talk show, Fresh Look. And she is also a comedian, singer, actor, author, and host of the podcast, Drinks with, it's now John and Dee Dee, which I love. <laughs> so welcome, you guys. Hey, hey. All right. So before it came time where you guys met, you guys have lived some life before you met and so i would just kind of love to start off with like you know from your acting career to different relationships and then right before you met there was kind of a lot of like heartbreak and loss so um if you guys could speak a little bit about like what life was like before you met okay. absolutely we uh we both have been in this business for a long long time and um Mm -hmm. I had been uh, I had been married before, and I mm -hmm. think it's safe to say that we both we both had fallen in love with the person that we thought absolutely would be the end all. And uh, sadly, in both of our cases, our spouses passed away. So Alicia yeah. passed away uh, February twenty first, a year and a half ago, a little more than a year and a half ago. And I was uh, mm -hmm. I was of the mind that. That was it. Done. Done. Never going to never going to laugh. Never going to hold another hand. Really, truly. Mm. Um, and then yeah. uh, a friend, a mutual friend, someone that knew Alicia and I and someone that knew knew Paul and Dee Dee uh, just suggested that we communicate with one another because I was in I was in bad shape. Dee Dee had been on the road. We call it the road. She'd been on the road a little longer than I had. Um, Mm -hmm. Not to say not to say that you ever get over it. It's something you kind of get through, or I would prefer to say something you learn to carry. Um, mm -hmm. But when we met, my notion was that uh, the thought of another relationship was was repulsive. And then I met this this crazy one, <laughs> and uh, as I call her, I met this I met this crazy dame, and uh, started laughing. So started laughing, which I think wow. is kind of important. Yeah, we connected right away, yeah. and we were definitely both still grieving. Um, and like John said, mm -hmm. that always stays with you. Paul Servino was a legend in Hollywood and an amazing man, and really yeah. just just a force to be reckoned with. And you know, he's mm -hmm. always with me, just like Alicia's always with John. <laughs> but we yeah. love each other. We're very happy. But still, the loving and the crying, yeah, and the laughter and all that is part mm -hmm. of it. But. We have a mm -hmm. wonderful life together. And uh, we do laugh most of the day. Yeah. Here and there there'll be tears. Here and but, there'll uh, be tears. Which yeah. is mm -hmm. which is a good thing. You know, it's uh one of the one of the first mm -hmm. things I noticed I told the people who really cared about me, uh, I said, Hey, you know, I met someone that makes it okay for me to laugh, and I think oh. I make it okay for her to cry. Um yeah. and if you haven't lost wow. a spouse, you don't know how important those two emotions are. 
You can't hide your yeah. tears if all of a sudden you 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 decide or you don't decide all of a sudden you start to cry. She understands why. Same thing with me. She was just crying a second ago, and I get it. I understand. Yeah. Um, Isn't and, that not even bad tears or just tears? It's just emotional. That's yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> oh but yeah. But we're so happy right For now, sure. and we just got so lucky, and I just can't believe that. Um, I could hit the jackpot twice <laughs> because John <laughs> and I, we do, yeah. we laugh all day, every oh, day. I mean, yeah. there may be a few minutes of the day that are not great, but most of them are. And, you know, we had the mm -hmm. best wedding ever and we keep celebrating and it's just fabulous. Oh, we yeah. Have definitely. a pretty funny wedding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. I'm excited <laughs> to hear about it. And you're oh. right. It's like grief hits you at different points and you never know it. when it's going to hit differently. She'll be and right like, back. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. But She's you're grab right. A tissue, it's but like... it, yeah, it does. There's no, there's no time frame on it. There's no, mm -hmm. there's no managing it. You know, because yeah. uh, as many, as many friends as I had that said, or acquaintances as I had that said, mm. you know, John, you really, you really need to press forward and move on. It's a ridiculous mm. thing to say. It's a it's a it's it a completely is. uneducated thing to say. But for yeah. as many of those, there were people that said, "Well, you know, I, I think it's too soon." Mm. So which is yeah. it? Is it time to move on? Is it too soon? And and nobody knows. Not even not even mm -hmm. you. Not even we. Yeah. No. Yeah. There's no timeline. It, it doesn't matter if it's no. five days after or five years, 15 years, it, it's up to the individual. And if you find the right person, then you just have to go for it. And we did, and mm -hmm. I think just less going for it and allowing it to happen because we, neither one we were looking for it, but then we couldn't mm -hmm. really deny it. So we did connect right. right away and had that mutual understanding. And it is tough because if you lose the love of your life, the other person mm -hmm. doesn't get it. You just don't. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we can share those happy moments, those sad moments. They're mostly happy, but here yeah. and there, you know, it does get emotional. Mm -hmm. But we're like, you know what? Life is short. Let's live it. Let's be together. We love each other. We're happy. And we just decided yes. we're going to get married in Indiana. And John, we were in <laughs> Vegas. And it was just too tempting because in Vegas, they make it very easy. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's, and it's very sure. incredibly festive. So John yeah. asked me, and I'm like, I'm kind of about numbers. I'm like, oh, it's almost oh 3.33. Give me a couple of minutes. And he's like, oh, I can't believe she <laughs> said that. And then, so I said, yes, of course. And we're in the At chapel. 3.33. Yeah. Uh, oh, my gosh. And we're gosh. in the chapel, maybe, gosh, an hour later. We went right there. Wow. And they said, well, I don't know if we really have anyone. Well, wait a minute. She runs we're up gonna the stairs. We're going to have to do this tomorrow. They the director. We're going to have to do it tomorrow. And I we're said, like, no, no, no we're going to get married now. No, we're doing it now. Yeah. So she <laughs> runs upstairs and comes back down and says, are you okay with Beetlejuice marrying you? And we're like, yeah. <gasps> no let's do way. It. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's amazing. We were married so Beetlejuice by, we were married, married you by Beetlejuice in Las Vegas. In the drive through in the drive through chapel, a in the back seat of a Cadillac convertible yes. that looked kind of like Boss Hogg's Cadillac convertible. Uh, we didn't oh, have rings, gosh. so our rings, uh, but, but we do carry a Sharpie. So our rings, <laughs> we drew our rings on each That's other so with good. a Sharpie, which is evidenced by the pictures. Uh, oh, I love and, that. Yeah, and I'll tell you, Dee Dee uh, touched on something a little bit ago that we know is, mm -hmm. I think, more, if you've been through what we've been through, we know this more than than most people. Everybody says, well, you right. know, life's too short. Life's too short. Well, people don't really know. They, they say that, but I don't think they really think life is too short. You know, people generally yeah. think um, everyone else is going to die, but not them or anyone that they love. Yeah. So we know beyond the shadow of a doubt that life is way, 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 way too short, and we are far more fragile than we have any idea. Mm -hmm. So... If you have the opportunity to laugh, if you have the opportunity yeah. to, to uh, I, I've had some people say to me, well, you know, that seemed like it was, it was awfully quick, you know, just like I had people mm -hmm. saying, you know, you need to move on. But I say yeah. to my friends or my, the, my acquaintances who say, uh, you know, this, I think that, gosh, I hope it's okay because that might have been too quick. And I, and I say this, I say, 
So you'd prefer, I, how many more days would you have preferred that I was upset that I didn't die in my sleep? Mm. How many yeah. more days did you want me to be miserable before my time frame fits in with yours? Because yeah. I know, you dada, I know that life is too <laughs> yeah. short. And I know yeah. that one of these days we will have had our last cup of coffee and we mm. won't know it. Mm -hmm. So I choose, what is, what is our three things? We choose adventure, we choose laughter, and we choose success each and every yeah. day. And it's not too late for anybody who's listening or watching this to make mm -hmm. those three choices as well. But and, Alyssa, what's nice too, yeah. sorry, honey, is sorry. that a lot of people say, boy, I really had given up. And mm. now I have hope. It can happen. Yes. You know, these people are lost. Someone if, this, like, if this can happen, can happen, believe me, it can happen mm -hmm. to you. If, if you're on the road, it can happen to you. And it's, yeah. a, it's a wonderful thing. It is. Yeah. I love everything you just shared then and just your experiences and you're able to help each other out because you have this added layer of like having loss in your lives and having the other person truly understand what you've been through. And like you said, it's like you have to kind of block out those naysayers in your life as far as like what everyone thinks your timeline should be because this is your life and it and you have to follow like your calling and really what you are set out to do and so it's like sometimes that isn't what other people think you should do but you guys have really blazed the trail forward into just getting married and starting this relationship and juice. really leaning on each other <laughs> with Beetlejuice. Yes. So, okay. Let's go back to like wedding details. So you guys got married with the Sharpie ring through the drive through. Like this is amazing. I love it. But you had some other wedding celebrations as well. Right. So there was no proposal really. It was just like you woke up one day and you were like, let's get married. We're doing it now in Vegas. Right. Um, and then you had a reception, it, like with other friends in Louisiana. Is that correct? Well, first we had a reception in Hollywood at the Hollywood okay, Museum. Okay, that one was first. Okay, a dear gotcha. friend of a dear friend of Dee Dee's, who she calls Dee Dee One, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> owns the Hollywood Museum on uh, oh on cool Highland and Hollywood Boulevard. And Love so, that. so and that was there was no planning. Together. The planning for our our actual wedding day was truly, let's go do it. However, that's when the planning really started because mm -hmm. this one and her friend, so DD two and DD one, put their heads together with uh, with Roger and with uh, with Brent and with a bunch of people that she knows in Los Angeles, because uh, my my folks are all car folk, you know. But she's got right. the. She's got the planning folk, and, and uh, you talk about that, because it was unbelievable. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we we both knew we were going to get married, but it's kind of like, how do you approach it? And then when you're in Vegas, it magically happens. Yes. You know, you just get the, you know, it, it's the electricity of the place, and it was so festive. So it was really perfect. I always kind of said I would never do that because it was cheesy, but it was fun and festive. Oh, and I love had it. such a difficult year or two. That's cheesy. exactly mm. It, no, I said before, I always thought that. I was very wrong. Sharpies are I'm not cheesy. I'm just giving you a hard time because you cheesy. deserve it. Chapels are not cheesy. And Beetlejuice certainly isn't certainly cheesy. Is not cheesy. No, <laughs> not at all. But anyway, we thought, well, you know what? Yeah, these Maybe some other like celebrations are a little more traditional or, or a little less Sharpie written Beetlejuice. Okay, a little less cheesy. <laughs> yeah. So the Hollywood Museum is this gorgeous place. It's in the yeah. Max Factor building, historic Max Factor building. And it was so elegant, so posh. We out Hollywood at Hollywood. Uh, red Love carpet. It. Uh, all the press was there. Getty Images. We've had so much press about this because it was lovely. It was Hollywood. And we both had connects to Hollywood. John more than I do. But we definitely have a ton of friends there, and everybody came. We were at capacity. Um, we had to turn people That was wonderful. No wonderful, way. wonderful. Oh, mm -hmm. fun. And we had, uh, we had several folks who are on the road uh, represented. We had Eddie Money's widow and their kiddos wow. who sang, sang us two, two tickets, tickets to paradise. paradise. Oh, were, my gosh. Yeah. That's so special. Yeah. I love and, that. And we had uh, the other Duke of Hazard, our, our wrestler, our wrestler buddy. His wife came in. His widow came in. Oh, and uh, I thought you were going to say Catherine, and I'm like, no, no, no. We had Catherine. Did she wrestle you? Well, no, she did not wrestle me. But Catherine, <laughs> Catherine, as you probably know, lost her husband a little over ten yeah. years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, our wrestler, our wrestler buddy. Right. 
came in and his wife came. So it was, it was, uh, it, it's, it's, I don't think either one of us has ever wanted to be the, the poster children or the poster, I can't speak, the poster couple <laughs> for there is possible possibility of life after loss mm, or love mm-hmm. after loss. Yeah. But we talk about it quite a bit, like it or not. And I, I, I think it's a wonderful, wonderful thing to do. Because I remember how it felt to think that, you know, this was it. I was going to be mm. a miserable, lonely, mm. bitter man for the rest of my life, however long. Mm. Um, so I understand that feeling. Um, mm-hmm. And when people see us, and we do Comic-Cons. We're doing a Comic-Con uh, this That's weekend. So we, we did one a couple of weeks ago. I Invariably, four or five people will come through the line mm. that say, you know, I lost my spouse and you two give me hope. Oh, so, you know, I God pays that. attention. God does amazing, wonderful things. Even mm-hmm. through our loss, he is managing to do some really spectacular things to people and uh, that we don't even know. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we're being used for good. Um, yeah. There's, a, there's, a, there's something good in just about everything that happens. It's hard when you lose your spouse to find any silver mm-hmm. lining in there anywhere. But yeah. uh, I, think, I think we are it. Mm hmm. Yeah, I love that outlook on it. Because, like you said, you could have just kept waking up every morning sad, but you decided to make a change to your life. And you decided to follow, you know, what God's called you to do, and it brought you two together. And so I think, you know, you're able to laugh again, you're able to love again, and to just be able to like, kind of have that witness into other people's lives as well. And mm-hmm. it was something totally unexpected to you guys to kind of, like you said, be a poster child for um, people who have had losses in their lives. Um, Well, you mentioned, Alyssa, the Baton Rouge party. That was amazing, too. I kind of thought, well, after Hollywood, it's... Yeah, right? You're like, we did Hollywood and Vegas. It is so (laughs) far out of the park in Baton Rouge. It was so great in Hollywood, but Baton Rouge was also, we did the red carpet thing again. Yes. The images came again. I think people love a happy ending. We had they state do. representatives there. We had no friends way. of mine. We had friends of hers. Well, Dee Dee was the, was the chairman of the Young Republicans. National. Okay, so, yeah. National so I have young Republican friends all over the country, and they all That's moved so up cool. in the world. And, and they, well, you know, I'm just with Bo Dick, which I feel is a wonderful thing. Yeah. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to laugh. Okay. But anyway, but they're all like laugh. state reps and governors York, and you know. state senators and, and U.S. senators. And, uh, you know, they've all gone on into politics. Mm-hmm. And uh, I ended up with. Uh, I, you know, I worked, I worked for the president of the United States, then I married oh. Paul, and then I married John. So I ended yeah. up more in the entertainment world, where yeah. all my young Republican friends are all elected officials, all in all wow. parts of the country. That's Several amazing. state reps came, uh, wow. and our, uh, the lieutenant governor left a message. He was one of the hosts for oh, wow. the state of Had Louisiana. My, uh, my dear friend, Sheriff, Sheriff Jason Ard, and Sheriff Renee wow. Thibodeau were there. Uh, so cool. And great lawyer friends of mine and car friends and all because I lived in Louisiana for uh, 11 years. Okay, so, that was my question. Uh, I was little, like, little what was the that. connection? Okay, yeah. that's so cool. Well, so there, it was wonderful family and parties. friends. And we have three, I'm told this is, I was told this was the transition year. Now I'm told this is the year of the wedding celebration. <laughs> yes, so, I uh, love it. I'm just kind of hanging on and, and uh, going from, from one celebration to the next and hoping to find a golf course or two in between. <laughs> <laughs> and John, so did introduce me, John introduced me to golf. So we golf a lot, oh, cool. like every, so uh, every chance we can, yeah. every yeah. day we can, because it's really a lovely game. I had not mm-hmm. played it before, but you know, you're together and you're out in, you know, the great outdoors, uh, not exactly the woods, but sometimes when you're looking for a ball, sure. Sometimes you're in the there's woods. There's sand, yeah. there's woods. <laughs> sometimes right. you're in the water. all the terrains. <laughs> so we're going to go to, we're going to celebrate in Nashville. I expect Yay! that to be quite large, actually. Oh, uh, Nashville's going to be great fun. Uh, Indiana and then New York City. So that, oh my that's gosh. where we will end our uh, wedding celebration tour. But it was such Yay! a miracle. We really want to make a big deal out of it and celebrate it because it seems to really affect a lot of people. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that's so cool. You're like on the road making stops in different cities where like all of your friends can gather because you guys have traveled so much and you have friends like probably all over the world, at least in the United States, that you're able to just like 
go and visit them and celebrate with them. And I think that's like such a cool like way to do it. So for your next three celebrations, are they going to look <laughs> a lot like your other ones, like with the red carpet and Getty images there, or is it going to be a little bit different? I would say Nashville, yes, because Nashville is sort of a little country music Hollywood and John's so mm -hmm. well known. And of course, John's had 27 albums, right? Yep. Yeah. And for Bobby, Amazing. You know, number ones, I mean, John's a big country music star, so that's kind of more his town. Mm -hmm. uh, Hollywood, weirdly, because uh, Paul, excuse me, I do it all the time. I say Paul when I mean John. <laughs> Yeah, and a big Hollywood guy, you know, he was hugely iconic, still is, mm -hmm. with the Bo Duke. Yes. That's why I made the Bo Duke reference. And a lot of people tease me because they're like, were you married to Big Polly? And then Bo Duke, how did that happen? You know, that's such yeah. a different character. I'm like, well, they are real people. But, you know, out there, people like to think of <laughs> their totally. favorite characters as their characters. But I'm more Jim, I'm more right. Jim Pryor. Yeah, I'm I more agree. Jim Pryor than me. <laughs> but I think Nashville will be quite festive and Nashville's gonna be great. it will be glitzy you know it's yeah. it's, it's nashville indiana i oh, think yeah. will be the most laid back uh because mm -hmm. it's in a small town where we actually live madison indiana river town nice. but it'll still be lovely hometown you know hometown small town indiana oh, yeah. and new york will be new york new york will be another oh, very yeah. glitzy maybe the glitziest of all i, I would say mm -hmm. hollywood probably will eke out the glitziness and the celebratory um I don't know, red carpet part of the situation with stars, but not I, cheesy. Not cheesy. Right. No, no. Not mm -hmm. well, going back but to Beetlejuice Vegas. is welcome at any of these celebrations. Uh, yes. Beetlejuice definitely. Beetlejuice always I has love a seat. It. And you know John's from New York. John's not from the city, yeah. but he's close to the city, so he's a New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker, mm -hmm. it's true. And I lived there for several years. I lived in uh, LA in the Hollywood or excuse me, El well, close to Hollywood. And New York in the city for years, so I have a lot of friends there too. So I think they'll all be, we'll, we'll be a it's capacity. Be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, every time. definitely. And that's great. It's It'll gonna be, be a yes. big Italian contingent in uh, it. in New York. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of a lot of people whose last name ends in I. Oh. Will be, or O will be at the uh, party there because we'll be celebrating Paul as well. And we do that That's whenever so cool. we uh, whenever we celebrate, whenever we have a, a, a glass of wine before dinner, we always toast to A and P, which is to Alicia and Paul, mm, to A and P, I love you and that. me. That's you know? so, so sweet. So we'll never yeah. stop doing that. Well, we mm -hmm. think that we know they brought us together. I'm sure. Yeah. That. Without question. I know. I heard that you may have had a dream. What is that true, Dee Dee? Like several. before, while you guys met? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, several. Uh, you know. I, sometimes you get those messages and dreams. Sometimes they just pop mm. in your head. Yeah. But, you know, you hear folks talking about it all the time. And if you've never had that happen, you probably don't understand it or believe it. Listen to that it. still mm. small voice. You know, I was five, six months ahead of him. And that, believe me, that mm. five or six months makes a big difference. It does. I'm Huge sure. Huge difference. Yeah. So when we got married, I mean, you know, I was two years in. And it's still hard. I mean, you know, you, you I think I'm Paul every day and I will always love him. Uh, right. But early on or the first year, it's rough. So if mm. you can find someone to hang on to and someone to talk about it, talk it through, and it is such a blessing. And mm -hmm. we are so lucky. And these people that say, my gosh, I just don't want to go on. I can't imagine being with someone else. I'm so sad. I said, look, just keep the faith, have the faith. Mm -hmm. And what I always say in this, every morning I wake up very grateful. I'm so yeah. grateful for John. And mm -hmm. also grateful for the Tom and Pop. I'm so grateful for John yeah. because it just changed everything. And we're so happy and glad to be able to kind of send the message or be a beacon of hope, I guess, for the folks out there that are suffering. Yeah, definitely. I think that's so cool that you're able to just like see the different seasons of your life and how they relate and how they've been different and everything. And that's so cool. Um, I did want to go back to your weddings. So as far as like all the celebrations that you've done so far, like were there any like pretty special moments that like stand out to you? I had to tell you that we, you know, early on, I did a cabaret show because I was trying oh, to figure out what am I, what am I going to do by myself? You know, Paul's gone. What, what am I going to do? Am I going to get back into politics? Am I going to be an actress? What do? So anyway, so it was brought to me. Why don't, why don't you just start out with cabaret and, and sing throughout the country and do these different things? So wow. I had something scheduled at the um, Hollywood American Allegiant. where I'm a member. John will be a, mer a member soon because his cool. father was in the military. Mm hmm so wow. um, I started to do that, and it just and we asked a friend of both of ours to be my special guest to kind of get me started in the, that part of the business. 
Mm-hmm. And then John was there in town. I'm like, well, why don't we ask John? I knew that he was a singer as well. We had text. We had and text he was a in town. Times at that point. So it's like, well, wow. why, don't, why doesn't John join? And you would not believe what a great show that was. That was for oh, me. I, was, I, I knew I knew I was going to be. I knew we were going to be together. I mean, I just oh knew. Oh my god! That night, I did. Well, we had oh met. You know, gosh. we have to laugh because we met at the uh, uh, initially Hollywood at the Museum. Hollywood Museum where Abbott we had our first celebration. At the wow. Abbott and Costello, the, the grand opening of the Abbott and Costello. Exhibit. That's so cool. So we started laughing right away. And then uh, Dee Dee Wan, who owns and runs the museum, said, well, you have to come back and have a celebration where you Yay. met. So oh, it I all worked that. out here in Vegas. So we're like, okay, went to Vegas a week later. We're celebrating in Hollywood and everybody yep. came. It yep. was so wonderful. Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, when Eddie Money's children sang, that was just phenomenal. Because um, remember, Eddie Money died not that long ago, yeah. so that was hard yeah, on him, too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So yeah. that was very moving. Mm-hmm. You know, his wife was a friend of mine. Uh, our friends in uh, in Baton Rouge and Louisiana, from, from state reps to, uh, to all kinds of politicians and lawyers and carnival folk we had we have a very a very <laughs> varied so group of friends yeah and, but they all came up and uh, and said the most wonderful things um and and to me when the the gentleman that i've known forever that owns the hotel where we had the event uh he came up his name is mike wampold and he, he came up and he said you know i i don't ever say anything anywhere i'm kind of a quiet guy but i just want to I want to commend these two because of all the wonderful things that these people have said, because mm. it's it's the most true and honest uh, showing of love that I've ever seen. Wow. And he didn't just mean us. He meant he meant the you know the outpouring yeah. of love toward oh, what guess. has happened here. Yeah, because all of the people in the room knew me when I was at my absolute bottom, knew her mm. when she was at her bottom, and now they look and they go look look at this. Wow. This is a. Uh, this is happy. This is possible. This is absolutely, without question, God's work. So the yeah. Hollywood people were mostly my people, but a lot of them knew John as well and friends. And mm-hmm. the same with, but it went the other way in Louisiana. Well, I had several wow. friends too, but it's mostly John's folks. That's that he, so cool. that it's, They saw us both through these no, ter- this friends. terrible time. Now, Our friends. There are friends. Yeah. But in both rooms, the comment everybody kept saying is like, my gosh, everybody's so happy. They're so giddy for you. Mm. The, the, there's so much love in the room. This is great because it really was so much wonderful energy and good vibes. It's just mm-hmm. no doubt that this was meant to be. And, and we have kind of a mission, I think, you know, to yeah. try to spread the word and yep. show folks that it you can be okay. You will yeah. be okay. Yeah, definitely. Isn't that love such a magical all. feeling? It really does. <laughs> it's such a magical feeling to have all your loved ones in one room at the same time. And you're like, when else will that ever happen? And so, and <laughs> Only one time, but you won't be I, aware of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, actually, yeah. for us, it'll Sorry. be it's Hollywood and Louisiana. And oh, come I know on. They, I know what you're saying. We're, we're yeah. talking the happy part now. Nashville, I think Nashville That's the happy huge. part, too. That's oh, cool. yeah. Nashville's going to be huge. Nashville's mm. going to be a lot of fun. Indiana oh, will be lovely. So and New York City will just rock it. It'll be great. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm based here in Nashville, and so I'm really excited well, to... Uh, oh, great. You well, you got to come. Oh, gonna, well, you guys we're gonna don't try have to, to invite me the, to your uh, wedding. We're going to try to do it at the Standard. I've been... Uh, I'm not oh, a member of the standard, standard, but I've gone to the Standard many times, and the yeah. owners are dear friends, so... That's so We're going to cool. try to go there and do it. I love and we'll that know space. very soon. We're working on all the planning, you know, planning all... Yeah. Planning our life, because we travel so much, and there's a lot going on, and now we're trying to get the wedding celebration. Take a breath. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I can't... I don't have take time to take a breath. Okay, thank you. Yeah. You talk. I'm just going to listen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> we oh, have a lot of that. <laughs> yes, this is so fun. I love that I like was able to interview you guys like right in the middle of all your wedding celebrations. It's so good. Perfect um, timing. So what I guess is next as far as project wise for you guys? I mean, you might not even be able to think about it right now because you are right in the midst of all all your wedding celebrations. But like, I hear there might be like an RV company coming out of like what you guys are doing there or is, like there's okay. an RV company because we've done a lot of traveling. I've always traveled in an RV, but uh, since fun. we met, we've been traveling almost exclusively in an RV because of all the comic cons and concerts and things. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there will be in the very near future, John Schneider country RV, cool. uh, which will start out as, as one place in Lexington. Mm-hmm. and then uh, hopefully branch out to be RV places all over the country. 
Wow. I've, I've had RVs during Dukes, before Dukes. My parents had us in RVs as well. Mm -hmm. um, we are going in two weeks, I think, or so. We're going to be going through Kentucky to scout locations for a new television show. Or let cool. me rephrase that. I don't know that there are television shows anymore. There are cable <laughs> shows. A new, a new show a you can watch on show. your... Yeah. on your device of some kind. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's going to be what I call a Southern horsepower comedy. Wow. Uh, very much like the Dukes of Hazard, but this is about a family named Earl. So it is the Earls okay. who live in Perry County. So it's the Earls of Perry. Cool. And, uh, and it just so happens if anyone out there is doing any uh, research, the county seat of Perry County, Kentucky is in fact Hazard. So, no way. Uh, there's there were a lot, lot of chances. Of nods, be a lot of nods <laughs> to the Dukes of Hazard. Um, so uh, you mentioned earlier uh, all the independent stuff that, that I do, that we do. Yeah. I'm fiercely independent, not somebody mm -hmm. that goes and tries to get someone uh, to, to uh, bless my creativity. We just go out and we make these things ourselves. That's uh, so cool. Take all the risks. And if they work, then we reap all the rewards. And if they don't, then, you know, we try it again. Mm -hmm. uh, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and try all over again. But I right. think the Earls of Perry is going to be pretty fantastic. Oh, Not cool. a day goes by that somebody doesn't say, are you going to redo the Dukes of Hazard? Will they redo Every the day. Dukes of Hazard? Oh, wow. it, Warner Brothers won't do it. Warner Brothers won't do it. But really? They have huh. no control over the Earls of Perry. Right? And, uh, yeah, your own yeah. spin on it. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. So that's, that's, cool. that's what's in the immediate future. And then, and then I don't know, more golf. Yes. More golf. And also more liquor because we both have, well, we, we, but we both the liquor together. Business, the liquor business. Yes. The liquor business. Moonshine, uh, right? Right. Well, well I we love have a wine company, Sorbino <gasps> Vino. So that was the beginning. I love that. And okay. then John mentioned that he went, and I've always wanted a liquor empire, you know, that it's just yeah. a really good business. If she you doesn't want a kiosk. She wants no. an empire. <laughs> yeah. She wants want an empire. everywhere. I want to yeah. buy some. Yes. Yeah. Because it's yeah. celebratory. So cool. You know, you're always yes. celebrating and everybody drinks and that's fine. So it's um, Sorvino mm -hmm. Vino and it's John Schneider's Revenuers Reserve. Okay. You can see the commercials cool. for Revenuers Reserve on YouTube. They're pretty funny. Just look awesome. up John Schneider's okay. Revenuers Reserve. Oh, I can't wait to see that. That's so fun. Or go to revenuersreserve.com. How about yeah. that? Mm -hmm. And we're, we're moving into all the different states and we're going to do other liquors. You could have Schneider schnapps or vodka oh, or whatever, fine. you know, but you want to do a good yeah. job. So we're trying to really make the wine and the moonshine work very well first. But hey, mm -hmm. we're, we're open to everything. That's but so when you fun. do that, Alyssa, you have to you have to work it state by state. Oh, yeah. Okay, you don't, you don't make a all call. the liquor laws and everything. All the liquor yeah. laws are, are yeah, different in every state. So every mm -hmm. state is a different, not just a conversation, every state is a different campaign wow. uh, that you have to either win or lose. So uh, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a lot of work, but she's done it before with the wine. So we're doing that now. We're in the process of doing that now with John Schneider's Revenuers Reserve. Yeah. Um, so... So hopefully, in a, hopefully in a year, you know, I used yeah. to say hopefully in a couple of months. No, hopefully in a year or so we'll have, uh, I, I think, I think we'll reach kind of a synergy with regard once we get over 10 states right now, I think we have six. Mm -hmm. I've heard there's some sort of a, some sort of a magic, maybe once you get over 10 that the next ones, mm -hmm. they're never easy, but they're a yeah. little more open it to it. Be regional. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, when we pick up this Southern state, we'll get three more. Yeah, so that's we're, we're, good. Uh, we've that's got a good. lot of things brewing, uh, mm -hmm. and it will, it, a lot of things cooking, but, it, but it's all working very, very well. Yeah. Oh, that's so exciting. And your podcast is so fun. And, oh. you know, I listened to the one where you guys chatted. And yeah, I, I love what you guys are doing and all the different projects. You guys have your hands in a lot of different things. And it's just so cool to watch just the trajectory of, you know, where you've been and to now where you're going together. And I think that's so cool that you guys are starting things together. You're living life together and making a big difference on this world. And I think, you know, to still have that mission in your mind at the forefront in everything that you do is so amazing and so inspiring. And so thank you guys so much for just taking the time to chat today and for inspiring others out there to that there is love out there, and I, I just think that's so cool. So well, I appreciate you're welcome. it so Thank much. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Yeah. 
Uh, one key to you out, you, you folks out there who are on the road, um, it sounds pretty simple, but the best way to find love is stop looking for it. Yeah. <laughs> Let it find yes. you. Let it I find love that. you. Because mm-hmm. when you know, you'll know. You'll be like, yeah. oh, hell. Yeah, we're like, oh, <laughs> oh it's happening. Here I it goes. Can't believe yeah. it. I can't believe it. I didn't want to know, but I was like, mm-hmm. this is, I'm in trouble <laughs> yeah. in a good way. <laughs> totally. But we were, uh, uh, it was just, yeah, again, grateful every day and just so surprised and so happy and just glad mm-hmm. to, glad to be alive. Where before, frankly, mm-hmm. didn't mm-hmm. really always want to be. I wasn't really happy with tough. that. And by the yeah. way, dear, I, we love your generally orange. Uh, the oh, yeah. Thank oh, thank you. you. Yes. Yep, yep. <laughs> I know. I saw your wedding it. attire kind of match the generally. And I was oh, like, I yeah. love that. You just like did your own thing. And I think that's a huge thing that I like to preach about weddings is like, you do you and who cares what anyone oh, else did. thinks oh, there's yeah. so we many did. opinions out there telling you how to do it it's like and that is what i, I love had, about uh, what I you had guys friends, did uh, especially in baton rouge i had friends that hadn't met Dee Dee yet and they'd say hey we want to meet Dee Dee. where oh there she is <laughs> that's her right so that's her okay <laughs> i love it it's so good if it's I not love fun it. it's not worth doing if life is yes. not fun and it's not worth it and i don't think people feel like and weddings it's a good example why do you have to do what everybody else does why do you have yeah. to go with tradition if it's not what you care for why do you have to wear white it's so easy to yeah, make a exactly. wedding it's yeah, so it's easy to make a wedding about the guests <laughs> The uh, wedding is not about is. the guests. The wedding is about you. Mm-hmm. So enjoy it. Enjoy yourselves. That's what we had a General Lee at, uh, at, at on the red carpet oh, in Hollywood. Right. We had a General Lee at, yeah, at the one here, or Baton Rouge, rather. Mm-hmm. And uh, we certainly, there's a General Lee in Leaper's Fork, so I, I'm sure we'll be That's able to get right. it. There, 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 there will be one in Lee. Nashville, for sure. Oh, Yay. yeah. And we'll, get oh, one, cool. we'll get one somehow in, uh, in, in Manhattan. In Manhattan, Manhattan we'll get might one be the toughest one. No, we'll there's a bunch it. of them in New Jersey. They're not. That's far. right. Wow. That's right. But I think Whoa. I don't think it should be Manhattan. I think it should be in in uh, Brooklyn. I think it should be in Paul's world. Uh, mm. Maybe, but I'm thinking a couple of places in Manhattan that would be pretty cool. So we'll okay. figure that. It'll be great regardless Ooh, of yes. you're invited. But you have oh, to come to Nashville. Sweet. Oh, I would love we'll to. Let you know, be of so course. fun. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for taking You're the welcome. time. I appreciate it. We'll talk soon. All right. You take care. All we'll right. see you in Nashville. Yeah. Bye. At the standard. Thank you so much. At the standard. Job. Yes. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to the Wedding Reporter Podcast. I hope you learned a little bit and had fun today. To find more resources and podcast episodes, visit NashvilleBrideGuide.com for more information. And as always, click the subscribe button and leave us a review. Until next time, I'm Alyssa DeChico, signing off.